I read MBDL, My Badly, Badly Drawn Life, by the Italian cartoonist GP. This book came out in 2008, and this is a 2022 translation published by Fantagraphics uh, Books. And this book, apparently when it came out in 2008 in Italy, it kind of like turned the Italian comics world on its ear. Um, it's highly regarded there. And uh, GP is a highly regarded European cartoonist. So I thought I'd try it. And the good folks at the Miami uh, Day Public Library System carried it. And I have to say that if I had to explain this book, it's an autobiocomic, it's almost like stream of consciousness comic books. Like, you know, like um, Hunter S. Thompson did this kind of gonzo writing where he was writing about the story, but part of the story. The, it's sort of like that, except that it's just almost like stream of consciousness. This does has some kind of overall narrative, but it's, it's very nonlinear as far as what happens here, what happens there. There are allegories from certain characters. Um, he talks about growing up with these other groups of friends that did all this crazy stuff. And then there's like this time where he segues into this like pirate realm. And then he draws this really scratchy style. But it's a conscious choice because here he can do painting and these pirate scenes where he goes and he like meets these, he becomes, joins these like pirates. But somehow it's part of the, of the journey of self-discovery. So he can draw. He's just drawing like this. I think to add to this kind of idea of like it's non-linear and kind of frenetic. I mean, it, it's very unusual, I'm going to say. He can write. He can draw. It's an important work. But at the same time, I'm not sure I fully get it. Like, there's an ongoing commentary he has about how he starts off early in the book about how he has something wrong with his penis. He refers to it as his peen. And he goes, and there's an ongoing subplot where he goes to doctor after doctor after doctor. They try to get it diagnosed and fixed. And he can't. And then at the end, he's like, oh, yeah, by the way, like almost right at the end, oh, yeah, by the way, uh, I found a doctor who figured out what the problem was. I got it fixed up. Like, oh, you mean you've been talking about this thing for the whole book? And then at the end, it's like, oh, yeah, I just uh, fixed it. It's very strange. Um, I'm glad I read it. If you like Italian comics, you should read this too. I think he puts a lot of things here, warts and all. But I don't know if it's just for, not for me. But it's not bad. It's not like it's badly made. It's actually pretty well made and pretty ingenious in some ways. And I actually did read an article regarding the publishing of this edition, um, an interview with GP. And the interview was much like the book. It was almost nonlinear and kind of like kind of stream of consciousness. Like some of it made sense and some of it was like, what? So if you get the chance to read this, do so if you like Italian cartoonists, Italian comics, it's probably up your speed, up your alley. Um, but again, not sure if it was really 100% for me. But again, not everything is going to be something that we really dig. But I think it's important enough to read because it's that highly regarded. And, you know, what I may not like, you may love and vice versa. So I would check it out. Um, it's a really nicely made book. It's really handsome edition. Just kind of left me a little cold. All right, thanks.